Hello. All right. So let's talk a little bit about this idea of prioritizing binge eating behavior over weight loss. I had a client I just had a call with this week and we wrapped up one year of working together. And in that year, she lost 52 pounds. But you know what's interesting? When she first came to me, she didn't put weight loss as a goal that she wanted to focus on. What she did is she put binge eating as the goal she wanted to work on. And I even brought that up in our kind of final call together. I said, you know, it's so interesting. You've lost an average of one pound per week, but for the first several months, you lost nothing because you worked on binge eating and you didn't even put binge eating on your goal entrance form that we filled out on on our first call. And she's like, yeah. She says, I was in such a bad place with my binge eating. I was doing it so much. My weight kept going up and up and up. And I knew that had to be the focus. I listened to you for long enough. I got that. And she was so patient. She, for the first several months, again, didn't lose anything. Really what we did was we worked on her eating, her mindset around the binge eating. And I've got to really drive this point home. And I just had another client email me this. She almost had a binge last night. She's like, I kept hearing you in my head say, your priority is not binge eating. It's not losing weight right now. And that helped me so much. Often when people come to me, they have their priorities not clear. So if you're binge eating, it's akin to having a boat on the ocean with a huge gash in the side. And you're taking in gallons and gallons of seawater into your vessel. And you're sitting there with a Dixie cup (laughs) trying to empty the boat back out, yet you're taking on gallons and gallons of water. That is binge eating in combination with you trying to diet and lose weight. The binge eating is reflected in the gash in the side of the boat, taking in thousands and thousands of calories. You're sitting there trying to hit your calorie deficit, maybe 50, 70% of the time, uh, using a Dixie cup, taking a two to 500 calorie deficit. You're never going to bail yourself out of that. And even people who lose weight, people who have gotten to their goal weight, if they don't clean up the binge eating behaviors, more than likely in the, in the lifetime of their maintenance journey, they will gain the majority of the weight back. I've seen it over and over and over again because the restricting cycles become smaller and the binging cycles become bigger. We are super excited usually when we're focused on weight loss and we can almost force ourselves to do anything for an extended period of time. So when we do binge, we might restrict really hard. What I see over the course of somebody trying to maintain the lack of excitement, the, the mundaneness of it all, uh, the repetitive nature, is the binging sometimes becomes more and the restrict becomes less. So then over the course of weeks, months, years, your weight goes up 10, 20, 30 pounds. This is why for me in my weight loss journey, the hierarchy of importance was binge eating first, weight loss a distant second. If I could stop binging, I would never have gotten over 300 pounds, quite honestly. It never would have happened. I binged my way up to that weight. Like I, I, I really could pack away the food when I was in a binge cycle. So I just want to encourage you today, think of the boat analogy. Imagine you struggle with binge eating and you're like, what should I do? I really need to lose weight or I want to lose weight and I can't seem to get my binge eating under control, where should I focus my attention? The binge eating. I can answer that without hesitation. The binge eating is your most biggest issue you need to focus on. Whether you hire a a coach, whether you get in touch with an eating disorder specialist, counselor, therapist, wherever you have to do to get that fixed is what I would encourage you to do. Even if it meant not losing a single pound for months or a year, if that's what it took for you to get that under control, because it will pay back in dividends. Your boat will be seaworthy. You won't be taking in gallons and gallons of water. You'll know how to eat at maintenance. You'll know how to eat at a deficit. You won't be in this binge restrict cycle. It is worth the investment of time and energy. So I hope this video helps you. Please like and subscribe. Share my videos with somebody who might need them today. 
And always feel free to leave me comments and questions so I can better serve you. You guys take care. I'll talk to you soon.